Hi, I'm Donna Morris. When you visit your library's website at www.metrolibrary.org, you can browse our collection of vintage photographs of early Oklahoma City. But right now, here's Oklahoma historian and author Bob Burke to share some stories about these fascinating photos. By the late 1890s, the Twin Territories were the sixth largest cotton producer in the country. The Oklahoma Cotton Compress was built in 1898 along the east side of the Santa Fe tracks at Southwest 3rd Street to serve this huge cotton crop. Raw cotton is fluffy, soft, and light, and it was picked by hand in the field and stored in sacks and large open bins. Transporting cotton in this form over long distances was awkward and bulky, so cotton would be brought to the cotton compress by farmers or cotton brokers where large presses would compress it into dense bales for shipping. The earliest presses were hand-turned by skilled workers, but later hydraulic presses were used. The Oklahoma City compress could handle about 100 bales per hour, and about 10 freight cars of cotton bales were shipped every day at the height of production. After the cotton was baled, brokers at the cotton exchange downtown would find buyers, and Oklahoma cotton could be shipped all over the world via the seaport at Galveston, Texas. A companion to the compress, the Southwestern Cotton Oil Company is still operating on its original site just south of where the compress was located. 